Hey everyone, it's Sam McGuire from Enterprise DNA. Okay, so I'm going to show you something seriously cool today uh, in regards to a visualization technique which I just, I guess I stumbled upon when I was working on something. I, I was trying to, I wanted to compare one thing versus another and I wanted to do it in a dynamic way. Now what you can do is you can obviously show uh, the difference between something uh, from one period to the next or something like that. But what if you actually, and you could actually just show that difference, but what if you actually in the same chart wanted to show uh, one selection versus any other selection that you could possibly make? Uh, and you wanted to show it in maybe say a, um, a clustered column chart, but you wanted to be able to dynamically select, That's and, and that's the key thing. And I thought, well, this is probably actually going to be quite difficult to do. But then I realized well, you can actually do it. And it's just another derivatives from the dynamic visuals that I've um, showcased a number of times. So I wanted to show you how I did it. But I'm going to skip through a few things because some of them would just take a little bit too long to cover. And I've covered them in other videos. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up um, a, a, some simple calcs that we can then feed into uh, a measure and then that, that will allow us to dynamically change uh, with a selection. So what I've got here is I've calculated say total sales, total profits, total costs and then I've calculated sales last year, sales last month, sales six months ago. Okay, And so what I'm going to do is I want to create a clustered column chart where I can select either any of these um, metrics here versus any of these metrics here. Okay, And so whilst you know um, you could apply this in a number of different ways, and it's a technique that I want to um, certainly you to take away from this video. So um, within this example, whether it actually produces the greatest insight that we could ever want um, is debatable, but it certainly is a technique that you could utilize, um, and, that, and that's the key thing. Okay, so how do I do it? So first of all, we've got to create two filters or two slices, right? So I'm going to quickly create those by going into data, and I'm going to call this one selection. I'm going to call this selection A, and I'm going to go total sales, total profits, and total costs and let's go to that selection i'll call that selected measure and then we're just going to create an index here so i'll just go one two three and then load that in and then I'm going to also create another table though. I'm going to create another table which will um, allow us to create a slicer of these ones here. So I'll quickly create that and we'll call this one selection B. And then I'm going to call this comparison selection. And we'll go sales LY, sales LM and sales six months ago. And again, I'll put a, a quick index here, comparison, comparison index. Okay. Okay, so this is just the setup that you've got to do for this. And I'll just go load that in and then check out what I can do. Now that I've actually got these inside um, of uh, these visuals here, what I can do is I can bring them up here. I can turn it into a slicer like so. And I can do exactly the same for our comparison selection. So now that we've got these here, we can actually select through these, right? We can select through these, which is great. That's exactly what we want. The other thing we've got to do is just make sure that these are actually sorted correctly. So I'm just going to highlight that, come through, sort the column. Again, I'll come sort the column here. Okay, so now these are in order. Okay, so the next thing we've got to do is we've got to come over here and we're going to go um, measure selected. So we've got to use selected value here. Go selected value. And um, we're going to go selected measure. So as I'm working through, there's a little bit of setup, right? There's no denying that. But uh, but this is just what you got to do to to do such amazing analysis like so, like this. And then I'm just going to go measure selected, and then I'm going to come over here and go comparison selected. And I'll just change this. Comparison. Great, so now this is going to return, think about it, this is going to return the selections that we've made. So if we go and change this to last year or six months ago or whatever, or whatever one of our measures we do, then that's going to change that. 
Great, so okay, so now that we've got this, now that we've got this, this is where the really cool part comes in, right? And this is where we can create these dynamic measures. We can create dynamic measures that allow us um, to change a visualization based on the selection. And so what I can do from here, and this is very similar to other dynamic visuals I've created or showcased in the past, but we're gonna combine these. That's the seriously amazing thing about it. And so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go um, and call this one um, selection uh, one. And we're going to use the switch function and we'll go switch true and then this is where we just got to write a little bit of logic we're to say okay well if the selected measure uh if the actually it's, it's measures if the measure is selected is equal to total profits then we want that to equal to total profits and then we've just got to bring this logic down below. And go blank. And I'm just going to change this just quickly. And change that to costs. And then enter. Okay, so now we've got this, right? Check out this. We can we can already use this one, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to drag that in there like so. And I'll just bring in my month and year here. Okay, so that's now returning our total profits, but we can switch it to total costs or total sales, right? So that's already looking pretty good. But then what we've got to do, what we've got to do is that we've then got to do this again. We've got to do this again. We've got to, instead of using this, we've got to go copy it and paste it in for selection two and we're going to say well okay well what is the comparison selected so we'll add this one and this is where we need to again just put sales ly sales lm and sales uh, six m ago and then lastly, lastly, we're just going to change these ones and go sales ly. And you see, see, I'm using the IntelliSense wherever I can because it's just so much quicker, right? So much quicker when you write your formulas like this. And then I can go sales six months ago. Okay, cool. So then all I've got to do is just move this one down to selection B. Okay, so now we've got this, right? Now we've got this. I'm, I can now, if you think about it, I can add this measure to this visualization. And now we can get the comparison. So there's a little bit, a little bit to set up there. So sorry, I had to work work through that a bit, but I wanted to show you all the different steps that I went through. And now check this out. Check this out. We can compare anything, and that's the power of this. That's the power. I mean, when I when I figured out this, I actually had a, um, I actually had about 25 um, measures from one to one, one on one side and one on the other. And by using exactly the same technique, well, I could dynamically go and select anything here and I could dynamically change that visualization to showcase the comparison. So that is seriously cool, right? That is a seriously, seriously cool technique. Hopefully, hopefully you can just immediately see the applications of this. Uh, and, you know, it's just, uh, yeah, just, it just goes on and on and on. Just goes on the ways that you can actually utilize this. So how, what I call this one is the multi-measure select. Um, because basically you can select any measure. If you can get something into a measure, and that's the key, then you can then push it into a visualization like this, which allows you to jump back and forth like this. So not you don't only have to show from a, you know from a static perspective. You can, or you you not you don't only have to show the difference. You can actually then actually show the full result side by side. Um, like like so and then if you think about it right you can actually I mean how cool is this you could actually do this many times like say for instance you wanted to showcase you actually wanted to showcase three different uh, measures all all in one chart side by side well using this exact same technique you can actually achieve that okay so I'm gonna round things off uh, hopefully you like hopefully you like this technique I mean it's seriously seriously cool I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pretty happy happy that I discovered it very recently uh, and you know, wish all the best in trying to get something like this inside your inside your visualizations, inside your reports. It's really, really powerful stuff. Okay, all the best until next time. Speak to you then.